what you really should be learning. Yeah. Okay. So everybody's going to require one of these. Mm -hmm. And this is what you would just come and do. Come and grab one of these. Mm -hmm. First of all, before you would do anything, you would decide on how you're going to, um, what mask you're going to use. Are you going to use a mask with a shield? Mm -hmm. Which unfortunately due to COVID we have run out of, so we, I can't show them. Um, that's what I would generally use. Um, or you're going to use your own protective eyewear. We don't really supply them here. If you want them, you can get them yourself. There's different places. I'm sure you probably have them at the rooms already. Um, so selection of the masks. We're an aerosol generating um, procedure. Level three masks is what you would select. These are not appropriate for um, the operating that we're going to be doing. Not even for your scout nurse. They must be wearing one of these if we're going to be um, an aerosol generator. Okay? So you would come out and select your appropriate mask, which is this one. Do you know how to fit the masks? Have you been gone through that at all? So the way you, you make it um, as best fit as possible. These aren't going to seal like an N95 mask. These are just generally going to protect um, you from splashes and things. So you take it out, try not to touch this section because this is your filter, okay? These are all disposable, they're one use. Once you've finished using it, you take it off and you throw it in the bin, you don't pull it down around your neck and leave it um, and walk around the place. So take it by the very top, take it out of here, take it by the very top. I'll give you all one so we can do it at the same time. Just take one and pass it along. Try and hold them by this bit Yeah. or these. Um, and the reason being, the more you touch here, the oils and stuff on your fingers, and even just the dirt on your fingers, actually contaminate and start to um, make the fil their filters non-usable anymore. It fills them up. Because they're such a fine micron filter, it actually fills them up, and so it becomes ineffective. Okay, so what, what you do, hold it by the sides, grab your foam section, and we're going to make a little bend in the middle. Try and make it middle, because your nose has got to go in there. Okay, so once we've done that, we're going to just fit it over our nose. Running your fingers along that fine, push it into your face until you get to here. Okay? Then when you get to here, just use your finger, your two fingers and slide it up. <laughs> Not like that. Slide it up. You just sort of go in line with your cheekbones. Yeah. I find that the most comfortable. Bring it up to the crown and tie a nice, not too firm that it's cutting off your circulation, but a nice firm knot, okay? Up the top. If you wear a ponytail, mm. I like to sit it on my ponytail so it yeah. doesn't slide back down. Nathaniel, you might be a bit out on that one. <laughs> you have to grow your hair. With, when you've done that top knot, slide your fingers down and give it a little pull. Bring it in under your chin. Once that's nice and comfortable, you can do it around the nape of your neck. Now this one doesn't have to be super tight, just comfortable. I usually tie a little bow and then give it a little pull and just sort of loosen it off a little bit. Okay? Then you can come back and really adjust in here. Make sure it's pushed in nice and firm. If you've got goggles on, you might fo like fog up. So yeah. make sure you've got as best seal as you possibly can. Yeah. And that's it, yeah. okay? If you've got a shield, you'll have the shield. Mm -hmm. So now we're ready to scrub. So that's our very first thing to remember is our mask on. Now we're ready to scrub.